This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is subcontracting. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see procurement process with subcontractor. So basically we will understand what is subcontracting, how the procurement process happens with subcontracting. We will we'll understand that components required for subcontracting to the subcontractor and its setup. So how to send the components to the subcontractor, how to make that setup in the system, we will see. Post goods issue for a subcontracting P, how to do good for PGA, how to issue the components to the subcontractor against a PO, we will see that. Then post good receipt for a subcontracting PO, we will cover this also, okay. Then effects of post good receipt, so how to, to the PGR, we will see this. Okay, so these are the topics we will be covering in the subcontract. Okay, so let's continue. First, we'll understand uh, what is subcontracting in the purchasing. Okay, subcontracting involves providing your vendor vendor with components from which he manufactures a finished product. Okay, so here normally what happens is you along you order the product but along with that you will provide the components to him components to him so if, if you understand if you, in our normal purchasing cycle in the normal purchasing cycle what what we will do in the normal purchasing normal purchasing you create purchase order create purchase order okay and you issue the purchase order to the vendor then he will supply the material then you will do the goods receipt goods receipt you receive the material and after that invoice it simple invoice it okay but here in the subcontracting in the subcontracting what happens is subcontracting you create a po first step is same you create the purchase order of course, it's a subcon PO. You will have here one extra step that is called issue components to the vendor. Issue components to the vendor. Vendor means subcontract. So here you have a extra step basically. Extra step. Okay. So that is the difference. So you provide the components also, raw materials. Using that, he will manufacture the product and he will send us the product back. So normal scenario, you just order order the material, you create a purchase order, you give it to him. Everything, components, raw metals, everything he will manage. But here, we, are, we will give the components to him. Okay, so that is called subcontracting. Okay. Your enterprise, your enterprise places a purchase order for the finished product with the subcontractor. So you provide a PO to him, okay? the components required by and subsequently provided to the subcontractor to manufacture the ordered product are listed in the purchase order. So in the purchase order, you can see the components also. You can see the components also. I will show you this, okay? The components are determined via bill of material. So here you have to create bill of material, bomb. Okay, this bomb will be created by the PPT but I will show you how to create a bomb also. In subcontract order processing, the vendor receives the materials with which it produces the end product. So he will produce the product with the materials we will provide it to him. Okay, so this is the process. So here if you see we have the plant and we have the vendor subcontractor, subcontractor. So let's say you need a material, you need a material A. So you create a subcontracting PO, okay? And he receives the PO, subcontracting PO. On top of that, you have the components. You provide these components to the vendor, subcontract. Then using these components, he will, pro he will do the production. He will do the production. And then he will deliver the material to us. And then we will receive it. Receive it. Suppose here in this case, it is a shirt. So you need a shirt, you need a shirt, okay? 
uh, am i not audible uh, can someone confirm am i not audible bull sir uh, yeah okay so so you need a shirt so you place a order for the shirt okay then whatever the materials required for uh, to manufacture the shirt you will provide it to him then using that he will manufacture and then he will produce the shirt and he will deliver to us we will receive the shirt that's what we are going to do so the here the extra step is you provide the materials to him basically that's what okay oh, so now uh, so in sap how to carry out this so here you have three departments one is purchasing second one is inventory management third one is your invoice entry so first you create a purchase order it is called subcontracting purchase order subcon purchase order so in the purchase order you can see the components also i will show you this in the system then you will issue this purchase order to the vendor so here our company and you have subcontractor subcontractor is nothing but vendor he will receive the po and he will wait for the components then warehouse department inventory management department they will provide the components to the vendor okay and using that components he will produce the ordered material then the material ordered once production is completed he will send it back to the send it to the our company then we will receive it we will receive it gr after that he will send the invoice for the services performed then they will do invoice entry invoice entry accounts payable department will do the invoice entry so this is the process flow basically okay so now we will see how to do this in the system so basically here whenever you create a subcon po subcon purchase order only thing is you have to select item category as l subcon i will show you in the system so when you select item category as l subcontracting then what happens is system will search for the bomb of that material so along with item category you enter your material the material you are going to order so when you enter that material as you select item category l system will search for the bomb of that material bill of material and it will copy the components to the po so in the po you can see those components you can see this components i will show you this in the system okay so now let's create the data so what i will do i will i will select a product first first let me create a product okay okay so what i will do i will i will create a product mm01 i am creating a product okay first i am creating a fresh material during the creation i will be using i'll just copy from the existing material okay just to save the time this we have covered already extensively okay i will be using the plant 001 Okay, continue. Pepsi bottle one liter subcon. Just put subcon. Okay, so I'm creating a finished product basically. Okay, I have created a product. So the material code is. the product code is this one this is my material okay so let me enter the material code here now we need to create the bomb so components required to manufacture this product okay so bomb the t code to create a bomb is ca01 normally in the real time pp team will take care of this okay pp pp team production planning module team are responsible for this transaction so let me create the bill of material okay so cs0 go back let me go to cs0 enter this is the material the finished product this is the plant and bomb usage is one that's okay so now instead of entering one by one i'll copy from the existing bomb so here you have a button copy from 
the initial material is this one. Let me copy from this. Uh, 